you fly with Alaskan Airlines, you'll notice something different when you order in-flight beverages. No, the airline's not offering kombucha, yet. It's those darn plastic straws. Alaska Airlines will become the first U.S. carrier to eliminate plastic straws and use compostable wood ones instead. So, why would you care whether you use a plastic straw or not? We have the facts. Plastic straws are one of the leading contributors to ocean pollution. More than 500 million are thrown away every day in the U.S. To break the proverbial camel's back, Americans use an average of 1.6 straws per person per day. That translates into 175 billion straws a year. By the year 2050, there will be more plastic than fish in the ocean, and straws are a big reason why. That's because most plastic straws are too lightweight to recycle. When recyclables enter a facility, they go through a series of conveyor belts and mechanical sorting screens. These sorting screens separate glass from paper, paper from plastic, and so on. Straws, however, are too small to separate. They either contaminate recycling loads or end up in a landfill. And it takes 500 years for a single straw to decompose. In that time, the plastic could potentially leak pollutants into the soil and water. Every year, an estimated 8 million metric tons of plastic go into our oceans. And it's having a negative impact on wildlife. And for the other smaller pieces of plastic, they keep breaking down over time into what's called microplastics. They're basically pieces of plastic less than 5 millimeters in length. They're dangerous to wildlife because they can resemble food, and they leach harmful chemicals. The small bits can cause blockages in the digestive system of animals, potentially killing them. And if it's not enough to make you shake your head, one study says more than a quarter of all fish now contain plastic. Pollock with a side of plastic, anyone? Microplastics circulate and become trapped by ocean currents. Have you heard of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? It's less of a patch and more of a soupy chemical sludge in the North Pacific Ocean. It's more than double the size of Texas, and because of its low density, it can't be detected by satellites. So where does all that trash come from? 80% of it comes from activities on land, and the other 20% is from boaters, offshore oil rigs, and large cargo ships that dump or lose debris directly into the water. Alaska Airlines joins a growing list of others that will ban plastic straws. McDonald's in the UK is removing plastic straws from its approximately 1,300 locations. The strategy? Straws will be cut behind the counter so customers will have to ask for them, and they will be replaced with paper ones. Compared to the US, however, the company is recommending against it, saying it's already doing enough to recycle and be sustainable. When companies like Alaska Airlines decides to make environmental-friendly moves, it has real impact. Ultimately, our oceans are living, breathing things, and everyone must play a part in their well-being, down to the last straw. <laughs>